All right, this is your major crypto news update. Guys, this is insane what's happening right now in the markets with Bitcoin, with Ethereum, with the rest of the altcoins. Altcoin season could be right here in front of us. And an analyst recently assessed the latest situation and the China effect right now on the markets. And there's a spillover happening that we're going to talk about that is proof that the bull run is on. And this September has certainly shocked us because let's remember, September is usually a bad month for crypto. We started at 59,000. We just breached 65,000 with a few days left here in September, October, the best month historically for Bitcoin in the markets. So I think you're going to absolutely love what I've got for you guys in this video. What I need you to do is smash the like button. You're going to want to stick around to the end of the video. This is jam-packed with information. Even if you do not hold Bitcoin, this is relevant to you. And we're going to talk about altcoins in this video, the altcoin index, some of the cryptos that are outperforming Bitcoin in the last three months. This is very crucial to keep track of. And some of these plays we've been talking about for months, and I still think there's time to get in on some of these to really make some big gains ahead of the rest of 2024 and into 2025. So yes, Bitcoin has exceeded 65,000. Can Bitcoin climb to 70K? Well, this would liquidate a ton of shorts, like $1.6 billion worth. We'll see if that this uptrend continues. But first and foremost, let's talk about the recent price action and what's going on. So if we take a look at this, local uh, global stock markets rose after China's leadership pledged to stimulate its economy. Okay, and then we had jobless claims fall by 4,000 last week in the United States. Labor market data is big in the US. Commenting on the developments, winter mute over-the-counter trader Jake Ostrovkis, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, highlighted the impact of China's latest stimulus efforts, and we're seeing the spillover in crypto, guys, big time. Big time. They are boosting fiscal spending through $284 billion in special government issuance, pledging to implement strong interest rate cuts, all while the same thing is happening in the United States. We just had a big blow off uh, moment with the FOMC and what happened there with a 50 basis point rate cut. We're looking to see two more cuts potentially in the United States to close out 2024. These could be 25 basis point moves. But this combination of positive economic news helped Bitcoin's price rise, allowing it to retest the critical $65,000 level. Right now, we're basically on top of $65,000 as we speak. And here in the last month, we're up nine plus percent. And this chart shows you that Bitcoin is on an uptrend since the beginning of September, where we dipped back down to 54K. We started the month at 59, dipped down hard to 53, bounced off it so far, this double bottom. We hit it back down here in uh, August, and then about a month later in September. And we're breaking loose of our local high here of 64.1 that we hit at the end of August, breaking loose, recapturing 65K was a huge deal. If Bitcoin cannot hold this level, though, it could put significant downward pressure on prices. We know that we've been waiting for a drop back down to 53K. We haven't seen it yet. It is still possible. I'm not completely convinced that we won't see some short-term volatility back down to 53, 54,000 to close the CME gap, which again, we've talked about quite a bit. But all in all, I love where we're heading here uh, to close out 2024. And one of the things we're watching, of course, is altcoins. And I know you guys are all into altcoins, just about whoever watches my channel, probably not only just into Bitcoin, right? We're looking at altcoins too. And the China effect is real. And this is further proof that the bull run is on because we have seen altcoins start to outperform Bitcoin. These ones that are in the green on the left side of Bitcoin here. SHIB now has outperformed Bitcoin in the last four months. Uh, Solana, NIR, WIF, FET, Aptos, uh, Immutable X, Stax, ICP, Tron, XRP, Phantom, Rune, Say, SUI. Look at SUI's performance in Tau and Aave. Tau's 85% up compared to Bitcoin's 4% move. SUI's up 107% compared to Bitcoin's 4% move. Now, we're not in full-fledged altcoin season. However, when 75% of the top 50 coins 
perform better than Bitcoin in a 90 day period, that is when we can solidify, our, solidify ourselves that we are in an altcoin season. But I will say this, in recent weeks, we have seen maybe two or three cryptos that were in the green when we first started looking at this chart to now having you know, a number of cryptos, right? Um, exactly 19 of the top 50, okay? 19 of the top 50. It's not 75% yet, but 19 of the top 50 coins have performed better than Bitcoin in the last 90 days. If this trend continues, this further initiates all coin season. It further demonstrates proof that the bull run is on. And slowly but surely, we are seeing some big moves in the market. If we go back to coin market cap and we take a look at the last seven days, take a look at some of these movers, guys. Athena is back in the top 100. Big day today. Bittenzer Tau, we've talked about this. We, we, we put a uh, big signal out at around $250. We're at 522. I mean, we put a signal out on Bittenzer at, you know, down in here. Okay, this last time we were we were just down in here in, in, in beginning of this month, 237. When we started to climb right around like 270 right here on this bounce, I said, guys, take a look at Tau. This thing's going. And boom, we bought some. My Patreon members knew at $275 I was going in. You could become a Patreon member. I don't post all the time on there, but when I do, I'm pretty confident on some things. Some people have said, hey, I made a big play on Tau. Thank, thank you for that. We're not always right, but when we're right, we want to hit it big. Now, obviously, I've got the Patreon, but I've also got XT Algo. This thing has been huge in showing the breakout. This is how I knew to get into SHIB two days ago. XT Algo. Links are down below. Sign up. 30-day money-back guarantee. There's a huge discount code. You can get monthly, quarterly, yearly options. This is my trading indicator. It's been out for about 14 months now, and uh, it's it's been awesome to use. Say is up 40% in the last month. Pendle, here's SHIB now 30% on a big day today. These are all starting to perform way better than we expected when the month of September started. Brett is right on the heels of getting back to a $1 billion market cap. In fact, we covered it today. We hit it today. That's amazing. That is a big, big move. I mentioned this on my X page. Make sure you guys are following me on X. Links are down below to this. Bitcoin over 65,000 in September is a major milestone. Everything is lining up perfectly right now. China cutting rates, United States cutting rates, post-election clarity is coming. Usually post-election, we see the markets pump at large. Crypto, stocks, everything usually gets a surge. Why? Well, the markets like clarity. And whoever the president ends up being in the United States, it is what it is, no matter what happens. I know everybody has their thoughts and opinions on that. But regardless, the markets like more certainty. And you have more certainty once this election is over. So we're expecting to see an uptrend because of interest rate cuts leading up to the election and then probably a further pump after the election because the market's going to have more clarity. So we're expecting two more rate cuts right now in the United States and the rest of 2024. China's indicating that they're going to continue to cut rates. We talked about the altcoin index starting to turn bullish. So this is all proof to me that the bull run is on, that it's beginning, it's early stages. This is the second phase. We had that one little quick phase uh, beginning of this year, back in March and a little pop in July, but it was kind of just, you know, getting things prepared for what I think is going to be the bigger push up which we're getting close to here, and I think we could be in the midst of. So that is the news and information you need to know right now. If you guys got value, let me know by clicking that like button. Subscribe down below, obviously, and give me your thoughts in the comment section. Where are you at with your positions? What are your thoughts right now? What are you looking at? How are you positioning yourself? I'm genuinely curious to see where everybody's at on this, and I thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you guys come back for more. Ring the notification bell so you know when we put out videos and go live. We did do a live stream earlier today. Check that out if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.